This podcast is part of the Bomb Pod Media Network. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. O.J. Simpson, who spent nine of his 11 NFL seasons in Buffalo, hung out and took photos with Bills fans on Sunday at Naked City Pizza in Las Vegas as he rooted for the Bills in their return to the NFL playoffs. Gee, you know for a double murderer, that O.J.'s a pretty swell guy! National Geographic Channel and Kelton Research recently found that most expect some sort of catastrophe will hit the U.S. during the next 25 years. NGC revealed these results – earthquakes – 64 percent, hurricanes – 63 percent, terrorism – 55 percent – they are the most feared – followed by financial collapse at 51 percent, significant blackout at 37 percent, a pandemic at 29 percent, and nuclear fallout at 14 percent. Looking ahead 20 years, 62 percent believe a major catastrophe will hit the world on a global basis and most, 71 percent, think it will be an act of God rather than a man-made category. Plus, 92 percent of those polled were concerned there might be an attempt at resurrecting Pauly Shore's career. The screenwriter for the remake of Cleopatra says it will contain dirt, blood, swearing, and lots of sex. Or you can just stay home and watch any episode of Game of Thrones without spending seven bucks for a box of milk duds. Hulu and Steven Spielberg are teaming up to bring back the Animaniacs. Best news ever for those who have baloney in their slacks. Macy's has closed seven stores and cut 5,000 jobs. Man, first Gimbal's goes out of business, now Macy's is on the decline. What's next? Christmas itself? More than half of Americans who regularly go to the gym said they dread the month of January because resolution makers move in and take over. Now, hold on here. Aren't you the very same people who've been pestering us all year that we need to get to the gym? Well, we're there now, so shut up! A new study reveals that actors who have won Oscars live almost four years longer than those who haven't. They need the additional four years to gloat, brag, and generally rub it in. The Epiphany celebrations in the Portuguese village of Vala del Soguiro feature a tradition that each year causes an outcry among outsiders parents encouraging their children, some as young as five years old, to smoke cigarettes. Locals say the practice has been passed down for centuries as part of a celebration of life tied to the Christian Epiphany, or the last day of Christmas, the winter solstice, but nobody is really sure what it symbolizes or exactly why parents buy the packs of cigarettes for their children and encourage them to take part. Although I think it's obvious. I mean, it's the, when the wise men showed up, they had gifts of gold, frankincense, and Marlboro. According to a survey by Finder.com, each year more than $9.5 billion is estimated to be wasted on unwanted gifts. Annually, the average person wastes $71 on gifts that no one wants. So don't complain about that $5 bill you get from Aunt Melba every Christmas. At least that's getting used. A poll of almost 1,500 adults found that a gunshot was the favored method of death and fire was the least popular. Really? You know, I'd think top of the list would be dying peacefully in your sleep, and at the bottom, being a missile tester for North Korea. A recent study shows that if you place germs on an office building's door handle, those germs will spread to people scattered throughout a large-scale structure in only hours. In fact, it moves so fast it actually overtakes the office rumor mill the day after the corporate Christmas party. Yeah, it's that fast. The Oakland A's are offering free admission to their April 17th game against the White Sox. However, some fans are holding out because they insist on being paid. President Trump is asking Congress for $18 billion for his border wall. Wait, I, I thought he was going to make Mexico pay for it. Is he talking to the Mexican Congress? Britain's Royal Palace put out a 2017 highlight reel but failed to include the announcement of Will and Kate's third baby. Somebody's off to the pit of despair. Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek announced that he's on leave of absence from the show after undergoing brain surgery for blood clots that were caused by a fall that he endured a couple of months ago. I I'm, I'm sorry, I meant, who is Alex Trebek? The world's most expensive vodka bottle, worth $1.3 million, was stolen from a Copenhagen bar. Just to get out in front of this, it was not me. A new study says millennials are more into reading books than older generations, 
but the study also finds that they feel that they are too cool for libraries. 88% of Americans younger than 30 said they read a book in the past year compared with 79% of those older than 30. However, the same group also said that libraries weren't essential in their communities. And this attitude is contributing to the trend of Americans actually purchasing more books than are borrowed. Well, duh! I mean, welcome to the 21st century, where we don't feel it's necessary to borrow an ebook from a library to read it on a Kindle. Christina Aguilera's dog Stinky has died. He was 17. My guess is he died of embarrassment after living life with the name of Stinky. January 7th, the first Sunday in January of this year, was the busiest day of the year for online dating sites, according to Plenty of Fish, Tinder, Match.com, and Bumble. So apparently the biggest New Year's resolution is to dump your current squeeze. Philip Morris has a New Year's resolution. They're going to give up cigarettes. They took out an ad last week saying their plans include getting completely out of the tobacco business. Wait a minute, is it all Fool's Day in April? The food in famous paintings of The Last Supper has grown by biblical proportions over the last millennium. Using a computer, researchers compared the size of the food to the size of the heads in 52 paintings of Jesus Christ and his disciples at their final meal before his death. If art imitates life, we are in trouble, the researchers conclude. The size of the main dish grew 69 percent, the size of the plate 66 percent, and the bread 23 percent between the years 1000 and 2000. And now, by federal law, all paintings of The Last Supper have to include the food's calorie counts. Later this month, Taco Bell is going to roll out a new product – Taco Fries. For an introductory period, they're just a dollar because your diet was working too well. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!